most people in America would not necessarily know how to live outside if they lost their home. Because most people have enough social networks they, that I'm sure they'd be able to go live with a parent or a grandparent or a sibling or two. But the truth is at some point those relationships can time out. Or perhaps there's dysfunction in that relationship or hatred so there's no one to live with. And also there are people who like to practice abuse in those relationships. If you live with me, you have to do this for me. Well, it's one thing if you're saying, hey, if you live here, don't mind, you know, don't mind me, but pick up after yourself, clean up after yourself when you're in the kitchen, use your own food, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty typical to any roommate situation. It's entirely another thing when the person is trying to govern your life, get into your privacy of records, privacy of nature, get into your medical rights, get into your business rights, get into your nomenclature rights, get into your social media rights, get into everything religious in your life, and get into things so that you end up in jail. That is immoral and incredibly illegal and provable completely, regardless of who pays the bail. When I'm talking about these things, I am talking about the immoralness of families, the illegalness of friends, and the disgustingness of total strangers. People have the right to be themselves in America, and you have no right to step across their rights in any way, shape, or form. When you steal from someone, you practice something illegal. When you take from someone, you practice something immoral. When you lose yourself from doing all this, that's on your life. When you fail to recognize someone's love in your life, that is totally on your life. In America, we have rights, and our rights are being openly obliterated every single day by politicians who are off in the right of their mind. The right of their mind says, I am right in my mind, but the laws say otherwise. And here we have a problem that happens every day. That you think you have rights to my life when you're a stranger. You don't. You must step in and ask for permission. You think you have rights to other people in your family's lives. You don't. You still have to walk in and ask for consent to participate, to give advice, to offer things that are unsolicited. You still have to take the decline. And many people today cannot take a no when their intention is to be kind. But what you have to understand is that a person who's being played with every single minute of the day, interfered with all day long, is going to be cautious about their life and with regard to who they receive funds from, why they receive the funds, and what the funds are really regarding, what's really being taken from the gift of those philanthropic funds.